Hey guys, welcome back to Black, White and the Grays. My name is Kylie and we're in my small garden. I'm like hanging up a wasp trap. Well, I already did because I have a wasp nest in the ground here in my garden. And I know wasps have their benefits, but if they're in a pathway and I've been stung twice in the garden in the last week, one in the arse, well close to it, and one yesterday in my finger which is still a little swollen. Now, so I'm hanging up a trap. I'm not actually sure what to do about this. It says at least 20 feet away, which it is. So um, yeah, I don't like coming into my little garden in the last few days because I don't wanna get stung. It is September. This is not my first video filming in September, but I think it's the first one I've said. It was September, it's like September 6th already. The garden is still really doing really well. A lot of my big mammoths are starting to bloom. A lot of my big mammoths are starting to bloom. They're not even fully there yet. Fortunately, we um, are warming up quite a bit. We are not dropping down super cold. We've been freezing like almost every night, but I'm not too worried about the frost so much. At this point, every even the potatoes are surviving any frost in the 30s or the upper 20s in this little garden. In my big garden, they're toast. But in this little garden, they've been surviving frost after frost. The high tunnel's been fine. I think when we really drop down into the upper teens is when we're gonna get really affected. Um, this, The sunflowers in here will definitely bite the bullet then. But fortunately, I keep feeling things and I'm paranoid that it's a bee. So I've been just really enjoying this garden except for the bees, which is a pain in the butt, literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Mando. Careful of the bees. Hi, kitten. Little Mando. It's funny. I hit like they have never been out here more since I introduced them, and now they're like, "We're they we're family. They know who us. They know us now." Now Mando comes out all the time. Oh, well, everything's been doing really well. It's holding in good. Um, and the next 10 day forecast is really good too as well because the temps, we're getting up in the 70s, low 80s, which is really nice for things to keep growing. I am like shut down my high tunnel. It's on like Fort Knox because we've been freezing every night and it just gets super hot in there. And I want it blazing. At this point, the shade cloth's been off. The high tunnel, I just want it to be so dang hot in there that it... I don't care if my tomatoes drop their blossoms because that's how hot it's gonna get in there because they just need it ripen. And things are ripening. I've been harvesting a lot of tomatoes, a lot of cucumbers, just my smaller tomatoes. No, I did harvest one slicer. Okay, so I got one slicer tomato and the rest have been small. I haven't got any San Marzanos. I got two nice sized cabbages out of here the other day, which is nice. I have a bunch more that are ready to go, but I haven't used up the other two I harvested. And these are kind of just cabbages I'm gonna be using for fresh eating. Mando has the loudest purr. Mm -hmm. Bees. The wasps, I know they have their ben benefits, but about six years ago, my sister was stung by some wasps, a couple wasps, and went into anaphylactic shock, had no pulse, had to be revived. Um, so I'm a little more paranoid, I think, with wasps, and I've been stung twice. And I've never been paranoid for myself, but since my sister, I haven't been stung since my sister went into anaphylactic shock. So I'm a bit, I don't want my sister coming over. She has been having like what's called these B, the injections that help her be immune. And she has finished all of that, but still I'd want her to, I don't know. I don't want to get stung. My children don't want to be stung. And the bees, the yellow jackets are nutso right now. They're just super aggressive. So typically I think I would, as an organic gardener, I'd just let it be and wait till the winter came and deal with it, but no. My peanut gallery is back. My boys are getting ready for school. We do a charter school, it's just one day a week. And tomorrow's the first day of school here in Oregon, Central Oregon at least, we start school after Labor Day. When I lived, when I, when I was a young kid, I moved to West Virginia. My dad got, we got transferred over there. I've talked to you guys about this in a recent video. My dad was a farmer rep, but we moved a lot. So a lot of people think when they're like, where are you from? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where I'm from. I lived in, I was born in Oregon, 
lived in Oregon for a bit, then Washington, Eastern Washington, then West Virginia, and then back to Oregon, lived in Hawaii for a stint. Like, definitely wouldn't say I was from Hawaii, but I've been all over in multiple places in West Virginia, three different towns in West Virginia. So it's kind of like nowhere. F this is where we are out in Oregon feels like the most like home because I've been here the longest I've ever lived anywhere. For my sixth grade year, I moved from Eastern Washington to West Virginia, which was just a massive culture shock, a massive change. And my kid, my oldest son is about, he's in sixth grade now. And he, I'm just like looking at him and I'm thinking, wow, when I was that kid's age, my parents moved me all the way across the country. And it was a very interesting time. It's a little traumatic now that I'm an adult looking back on it. But also I met my husband there. My sister met her husband there. And our, we have some dear friends still there. And my best friend, Erica, which is my sister and I's best friend. We, we share one. I, she says I stole her, which I did. Um, <laughs> she was my sister's best friend in high school, but then in college, Erica, boys are on the golf cart. Look at my sweet girls. Then Erica and I, she was on a video. I did a video for her micro homestead. They don't live there anymore, but we became really close my freshman year of college and her senior year of college and Erica now lives here in Oregon with us so watching my oldest kid be that age where I was where my life drastically changed it's it's funny I <gasps> hello look at that hello little broccoli you so cute adorable so this year has just been a funny year to watch my own kid be at a significant age that I remember super, super well. 2001 was a massive year. Obviously, September 11th happened that year. I was my sixth grade year. I remember it very well. And then moving across the country, obviously, remember that very, very well. Um, so anyway, there's a little snippet. I have so many things in here that I want to show you, but... Well, that's a good thing. I came out here to harvest calendula thinking it would be open because I was in here this morning and it wasn't open but I was in here too early and I was like oh I'll come back this evening it closes up at night and I just wanted it to be open so you can really tell which one's ready to harvest yeah well it's closed up again I know I could do it I just am not going to there's my bee story there's my thing story hey she's whining need to get that cow some hay just wanted to make a quick video and show you guys. Got some elderflowers over here. These elderberries, I need to move next spring. Look at how wild these raspberries are. I just need to come in here and just go hog wild this fall and just get them out because it's driving me nuts. My red cabbages, their forming heads. I'm just really impressed. It's really feeling sad about my garden a few, I don't know how long ago, a week or so ago, because it was, felt like it was coming to an end, but I still feel like it hasn't quite hit its peak. I guess it's in its peak, how about that? There's a lot that's still left to bloom. It's so beautiful. So there is a quick little video, guys. Lots of busy things going on. School's starting. My husband's birthday is on Sunday, the 10th of September. This is, <laughs> I am super ahead in videos, which is a really good thing. But sometimes my content, I like to give you the date so that you know where I'm kind of at in the season. So that way it's not like a false perception because what you're seeing in possibly the end of September, early October is what's being filmed at the beginning of September because that's how far ahead I am. But I think you'll probably see this mid to late October, or I mean, I think you'll see this mid to late September and it, yeah, it won't be too bad. We can have two weeks behind. Um, it's just have a lot of content, which is good. So thank you guys for following along with me. I'm going to take you through Sunflower Alley because who knows how much longer we have it and it's beautiful gotta feed my heifers i only have two heifers but i gotta feed my heifers gotta get my feed my boys and get them ready for their first day of school is it fall football
birthdays. I always, my husband and I always say when his birthday hits in September, on September 10th, it really feels it's the start of the holiday season. <laughs> Not that we're decorating for Thanksgiving or Christmas or anything like that, but like it kicks off the fall of festivities. It's his birthday, then my birthday is a month later on October 10th, and then we have some other family birthdays, and then we have a big harvest party at the end of October. At the end of October, and then November 1st is kind of... I take off the Christmas gloves, guys. I can make it to November 1st, especially if we have snowstorms. Then, shoot. <laughs> Just a busy fall, but it's been fun. It's been joyful, and the first of all game is this Saturday. I'm, that's going to be fun for the boys. And my co husband coaches everybody, so it's going to be fun for everybody involved. I got kittens all over my feet right now. Hello, Django. Go down Sunflower Alley. Just take in all this gloriousness. Lovely. This is a lovely September. So thank you guys for following along with me. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.